Okay, welcome to part two of our Space War game here in Python 2.7. And so far what we've got is a Python window with a, some turtle on it. Doesn't really do much. And we've got a black background, etc., etc. So what we got to do is we've got to get our guys moving. We have a created a sprite class that is a child of the turtle class to kind of make our game objects. And so far what we've done is we created a player instance. Um, so this player is a sprite, it's a triangle, it's white, and it starts at 0, 0 in the coordinates. Okay, so what we want to do, uh, so there's a lot to go through, but um, let's, we're going to make a main game loop. Okay, so I'm going to just keep it simple, while true, do something. So what I want my player to do now my player is a sprite. The sprite is a child of the turtle class, which means that it inherits all of the turtle abilities. So I could just go player.fd, let's say self.speed. Actually, sorry, player.speed. Okay. So player forward, so player is the sprite that we created. FD is the turtle it's from the turtle class and we're gonna go forward the players speed which is one so let's uh, run that okay so the player the turtle is moving one each time through the loop very exciting it goes right off the screen uh, now okay what we want to do because we're using classes we want to make sure that everything is kinda organized so I'm going to create a method in my sprite class called move. And we always use self. And it's going to be self.fd, self.speed. Okay. So what this does is it creates a default movement function, okay, or movement method, I should say, for the sprite class. So all the sprites, when they are created, have this item, have this method available. So it will move that uh, sprite forward at its speed. So how I would call that player dot move parentheses. Okay, remember, self comes from here when we're talking about classes. So let's run that, and we should see no changes. Okay, it's still doing the same thing. Okay, so oops, didn't want that to happen. All right, so now, pretty boring. Uh, it, player moves forward, but he doesn't move left, doesn't move right, etc., etc. So that's what we got to work on here. Now this is where we're going to start making a few different classes. Okay, so what we want to do is because the player is is unique, the player functions differently than all of the other you know, sprites in the game, all the other game objects. We want to give it its own class. So I'm going to make a class, and I'm going to call it player. And this class is going to inherit from the sprite class. It'll be a child of the sprite class. That makes it kind of a grandchild of the uh, turtle class, but I don't know if that's an actual term or not. Okay. So just like with every other thing, we need to initialize it. And so I'm actually just going to copy this because I'm a bit lazy. Now this is going to be the same. Sprite shape, color, start x, start y. But because it is a child of the sprite class, we've got to change that to sprite. Okay. And the sprite class is initialized with these, not with these. So it looks very, very similar. Okay. So what we're saying is we've got a player class. It is a child of the sprite class. So we're going to send it the same attributes. So when we initialize this, it will initialize itself as a sprite. And then we can add a few more uh, attributes here later. So for example, I might want to say a player by default speed is 4 when we initialize it. And I want to say it has three lives when we start the game. That won't be important until later, uh, but we could add that. All right. So let's uh, change this now. So instead of saying the player is a sprite, 
we're gonna say the player is a player part of a, a you know an instance of the player class which is a child class of the sprite class so everything that's true here is true here okay except you notice here it says self speed equals one for the player we want self speed to equal four okay now the player has an additional attribute called lives but the other sprites don't have lives that's just for the player okay and move notice there's no move here but there is move here because player is a child of sprite move will work for that so let's save it and run it make sure that's correct okay now you see how it's moving a lot faster because we changed the speed to four okay so this is where it gets kind of cool so what we want to do is we want to make it so that we can turn our player okay so I'm going to create a new method called turn left self and when I turn left self is going to turn left 45 degrees okay so I've created the method now let's, let's how about this so player oops let's test it player dot turn left so it'll probably just go around in circles I hope okay so you see how it's just kind of going around in circles because it's moving forward four turning left moving forward turning left moving forward turning left so let's so what we want to do is we want to connect this turn left method to the left arrow key and the way we do that is something called keyboard bindings so what this means is that we bind we bind a method to a particular key now we're going to use the turtle module uh, on key method to do that so turtle on key and what I want is I want player turn left now notice I'm not putting parentheses okay this is just a little quirk of the way uh, methods are bound in I guess Python or something or probably TK enter and so I get rid of that so I want to call that method when the user presses the left arrow key okay so let's try that so when I left arrow player turn left okay that didn't work ah forgot. Uh, so keyboard binding I set the binding but I did not tell it to listen uh, once you create your bindings you gotta do turtle dot listen that tells it to actually it sets it up and tells it to listen for those uh, key key press events. Okay, so now I've got left. All right, so you can imagine right is very very similar. So copy. So turn right. So instead of left, we're gonna turn right. And so let's let's try this. Let's do all four keys. So accelerate self. So accelerate means we're going to increase the speed. So self dot speed plus oops plus equals one. So we're going to increase our speed by one. And we're going to decelerate. Turn on the brakes. Self dot speed minus equals one. And again, we got to do the key all the keyboard bindings. Copy. So we've got right. We've got key up. And we've got down. So right is going to be turn right. Up is going to be accelerate. And down is going to be decelerate. Okay, so we should have quite the quite the uh, control now. So left, right decelerate and you actually go backwards and accelerate okay so we got our little player moving around the screen it's pretty exciting okay so let's I think that's a good spot to stop for this lesson okay so just to review we have now created a uh, method for the general sprite class so all sprites will move forward uh, always depending on their speed 
we've created another child uh, or child of the sprite class and it has an extra attribute called lives we've added some methods class methods for the player class and we have bound those methods to key presses in our program using the turtle module that's that